everyone. Uh, first of all, with you. Uh, our subject today uh, it's about uh, electrodialysis uh, or EDI uh, for desalination purposes. Uh, first of all, you have to uh, specify your destination folder from here. Go to your working folder. Don't open your model from uh, desktop. Just copy it to your working folder and click here and sort by name and group by type. And you'll find your uh, folder here. And this is your model. Um, it's ed.slx. Uh, so you have to double clicking and your model should be appear like this. Okay, uh, what we have here, it's um, electrodialysis dissonation plant. It's, um, we can call it EDI um, or electrodialysis ion exchange. Uh, this uh, type of desalination plant, um, it's, uh, um, it can utilize electrical uh, or electric power in order to um, uh, separate salts from the water in order to, um, as you can see here, uh, ions of, um, of, we have NaCl, so uh, we have to attract Na to, to the pole and, and the Cl to the other pole in order to uh, make water uh, relatively clear. And we can extract the dilute from here, and this is the concentrate of uh, uh, the unpermitted uh, un, uh, uh, water. We have cathode and anode. And uh, there is no need for uh, uh, full detail going for uh, full uh, in full details with this one. We just uh, uh, um, demonstrating how can we run uh, this model. Okay, uh, you, if you click here, you, first of all you have to go to model browser and check all of these. And this, okay. So we have two main blocks. This is the, the block, um, the main electrolysis block. So if you double click here, you will find uh, your uh, code. Uh, so this, these are your outputs and this is model function. And these are your input. And this is your uh, code, which is um, representing your model. Uh, as you can see here, there's a cost block in order to discover as uh, uh, any product cost, what is the cost of one uh, cubic meter? Okay. Okay. Uh, we have to assign some inputs. Surely we have to assign some inputs. Let's go here and. Okay. Um, first of all, we can assign productivity, plant productivity. Suppose it's uh, 100 meter cube per day, uh, and uh, recovery ratio. Uh, recovery ratio for such devices are relatively high, so I, I will stick myself with uh, 75. And concentration, um, uh, concentration, uh, concentration of, of the feed inlet, uh, it should be less than uh, uh, 6,500 BBM as a concentration. Okay, and you can assign your target. What is my target? What is your uh, outlet uh, concentration uh, dilute? So, uh, suppose it's around uh, uh, 350, something like this. And uh, electrochemical uh, uh, com uh, compositions, NaCl, MgCl2, uh, whatever your uh, CH4, I will go for NaCl. And we have here uh, volume factor. Um, normally around 80 percent. Um, this is area factor or shadow effect or uh, on the it's a parameter constant. These are constant, so uh, it's around uh, 70 percent, 75. And we have the uh, conduct, uh, conductance. It's around um, 10. Okay. And uh, current utilization constant is around 90 percent. Uh, thickness of cell, ch cell chamber, you can choose your um, uh, design parameter based on your model. These are from your manufacturer. You can um, uh, input this parameter based on your catalog or your uh, uh, format. 
Okay, effective uh, lens per, uh, of flow pass. What is your effective lens of the flow, of the flow pass? A linear flow velocity. Okay, and we have constant based to uh, that was a part of ampere. Okay, uh, so um, are we, uh, this, these are your um, normal value, and um, this is another constant. It's between 0.5 uh, up to one. Okay, I will keep all of these for the constants. It's constants. Total air resistance uh, of the membranes uh, ohm uh, per square meter. Okay, a safety factor. It's around 70 or so. For cost, we have to um, adjust our operating hours, 24 hours per day. What is our interest rate? Plant lifetime, normally five years. Uh, load factor. Membrane cost, electrical cost, and pumping cost. It's uh, based on your area or your um, uh, factory. Okay, let's save this and let's go for uh, 100 uh, meter cube per day and hit run. Set your simulation time into zero and let's hit run and see. Okay, for uh, 100 uh, meter cube per day or cubic meter per day, uh, we will find ourselves need to. Uh, uh, this is feed flow rate per day, and this is concentration uh, of the concentrate. Okay, concentration uh, and this is outer concentration, inner concentration, and. Um, we have here uh, uh, practical area, it's a practical area, and practical pause, three meters of the stack, and total plant area, it's around uh, uh, 200 square meter, number of stacks, it's around five stacks, uh, total number of seal bears, it's around uh, 75 seals, as you can see from the photo. Okay, this is seal bear, seal bear, so we have, we need to around uh, seven, uh, 57 uh, uh, beers and plant power we are going to consume around uh, 1.4 uh, kilowatt and for electrical power consumption it's around 0.35 uh, specific power consumption and this is your total current and potential uh, drop uh, per stack about your cost you have to this is your unit product cost you have to sell your water uh, of dilute water concentration by uh, point, uh, 0.22 uh, US dollar per uh, cubic meter. You can go dynamically, set your submission time into infinity, and we can control our uh, system productivity and see the change immediately. Let's go here and we can make some changes and realize the outputs. Okay, okay, let's hit run and see our results. We are trying to increase the productivity and see the effect on uh, system unit, system performance, design, area. I'm increasing the system productivity as you can see here uh, up to 300 uh, meter cube per day, 150. Okay, let's change a uh, recovery ratio. Suppose uh, I need to change the recovery ratio. Okay, decreasing recovery ratio will increase the cost. So I'm decreasing the recovery ratio as you can see here down to uh, uh, 0.5. Okay, and you can also change. Uh, okay, these are courses. I'll keep this. Okay, let's stop and and going here to uh, that inspector in order to realize what we have done here. Okay, uh, let's go here inside and let's discover some parameters. Let's discover some parameters. This is your um, unit product costs, uh, varying according to your uh, uh, um, uh, variation in uh, inputs, uh, feed flow rate, surely, 
Uh, there is some kind of variation according to productivity effect and recovery ratio effect. Concentration, changing concentration. Okay, let's, let's do this one here. Uh, this is uh, electrical bulk consumption, specific bulk consumption. A total current, okay, and potential uh, drop uh, per stack. And uh, this is a practical area, this is your practical area changing and uh, pass, practical pass lens. Total plant area, as you can see here, this is your total plant area. And let's increase another slot adding another slot and uh, let's discover number of stacks this are your number of stacks and number of pairs and here we are uh, plant power this is your plant power um, changing according your uh, or accordance to your um, uh, changes you can send uh, these figures to uh, send to a figure and you can uh, easily deal with and make your changes save it and do uh, more and more uh, finally don't forget to uh, like share and uh, subscribe uh, thank you very much